This episode of the LCTV News is brought to you by Columbia Insurance Agency. Serving the Lynn community for over 60 years with home, auto, and business insurance. Hello Lynn, I'm Wesley Days with your Lynn News Update. Yesterday, community members gathered in front of City Hall to protest the city's yearly budget. The fun peace, not forced protest was in an effort to table a vote on the budget until racial justice becomes a main focus of the bill. Activists are demanding a 10% decrease in the Lynn Police Department budget to fund an unarmed crisis management team. The budget promises a $2 million increase to the police, leaving the department with $22 million. Despite the protesters' best efforts, the $375 million 2021 fiscal year budget was passed unanimously by the city council. The city's police chief is leaving. Police Chief Michael McGarry is stepping down from his post this Saturday. Chief McGarry has been at the helm of the police department for the last three years. During his time in office, he led the department through a time of financial hardship while avoiding layoffs and advocated for more officers to join his department. Mayor McGee thanks McGeary and wishes him well in retirement. Deputy Chief Leonard Demarius will be acting chief until the position can be filled on a permanent basis. In sports news, after starting the season with six wins, the North Shore Navigators have dropped three in a row after last night's 3-2 loss against the New Britain Bees. The Navigators struggled against the Bees, Pitching was led by Drew Mead, who struck out 10 batters. LCTV's Mukala Kabungo spoke with Mead after the game about his performance. I'm here with New Britain B starting pitcher Drew Mead. They just came off a 3-2 victory over the Navigators. You had an outstanding outing on the mound. What was working for you? Um, fastball was working really well really early. Um, then once I got to the third time through the order, I uh, started to mix up my pitches really well. And, you know, just kind of keeping hitters off balance and stuff like that, and it started to work. Just painting corners and throwing strikes. And these guys, they came in really hot. They've been playing really well. Their bats have been, you know, they've been really well yeah. hit, hitting the ball. Just how, what was the preparation coming into this game? You know, just to throw strikes and to keep them off balance, definitely mix speeds and stuff like that because they're very fastball heavy. So just want to mix speeds, throw them off balance a little bit, and hopefully slow them down. And you got the two early runs, too, to help you out. How, what does that do for a pitcher when you get those two two runs to go ahead? And how does that, you know, how does that work into what you're going to do when you get back on the mound? Oh, it feels great because it gives you that extra cushion to, you know, go out there and just continue to pound the strike zone. And when you get a lead like that, then you just want to, you know, continue to pitch well and secure it and hopefully keep pitching well throughout the whole entire game. So, um, you know, that, that lead really does help a lot when you're pitching early because then you can afford mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you guys capitalized on their error in the fourth to get that run to break that 2-2 two, that two, two tied. And then when, you're, when they took you off the mound, the bat, your other pitchers came in and they just, you know, kept it going. Oh, yeah, no, he... Uh, Ty really shut the door there. Um, those were two big innings that we really needed, and you know he threw strikes as well, threw hard, kept them off balance as well, and you know we just got the win. All right, moving forward, how are you guys gonna keep the momentum going? How are you guys gonna continue to play well? Um, just continue with the same attitude and mindset. Com you know, continue to play full games. Uh, we've been where we've been struggling is that we haven't put together a full game, and this was our full game today. So if we keep doing that and keep doing um, what we can do, I don't see us stopping anytime soon. All right, congratulations on the win. All right, you got good luck on the rest of the season, all right? All right, thank you. Been well, guys watching LCTV, have a great right. one. The Navigators are back on the field tonight as they travel to Brockton to take on the Brockton Rocks. In other areas, not just West Lynn, or in those, you know, concentrated areas, but moving out towards the more suburban um suburban-esque areas of lynn <clears throat> and just letting everybody know that this isn't a conversation just for west lynn or the people the residents mm -hmm. of these uh heavily minority populated areas yeah no and, and um in, in addition to that too um you know this grew uh from something very organic originally 
Um, Anthony uh, spoke at a protest, the first big limb protest. And uh, he said he was going to be down there every day at 530. So I went down there every day at 530. And, you know, that developed into smaller protests in the neighborhood. Thank you for watching this Lend News update. Follow LCTV on Facebook and on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch any show from any place at any time on our website. I'm Wesley Days. Have a great day. Thank you.